Hello YouTube and welcome back and a nice warm evening here on stand at uh, Amsterdam Airport in the Netherlands. Uh, Echo Hotel Alpha Mike and today we are taking a trip, quick trip across to uh, Leipzig, I think that's how you pronounce it, in Germany, uh, Echo Delta Delta Papa and as you can see we are in the uh, fly-by-wire A320 Neo in the KLM livery, which uh, KLM I believe should be taking delivery of uh, A320 Neos in I think it's about 2024. So obviously we are a little bit ahead of the game here, but that's fine. So we're looking at an evening flight this afternoon, well this evening I should say, roughly about uh, six seven uh, seven o'clock local time. Now Navigraph. Uh, sorry, some brief is giving me a flight time today of about an hour, which isn't too bad. So let's go ahead and start getting some of our things uh, in place now. As you can see, we just had the baggage there being loaded in, and uh, we should be on our way fairly soon. So let's start. So we're going to bring in all our information here. So as you can see, EMG, yep. There's our alternate. Okay, then route that. Uh, costing next to 34, flight level 370. Wow. Surprising considering we're not. Um, it's not super far away. So I think it's, the distance is only about 300 and something miles, 324 miles maybe, between the two. Uh, but, you know, that's what it's given us. Okay, so we'll, we'll make it work. <coughs> Excuse me. That's our zero fuel weights, and our block fuel today is 8.4, which should be enough for us to turn with. 8.4, so we'll run that up to 8.5. And there we go, that's in. Just what we want, so. Today we'll take a flaps one, because we've got a nice long runway, so not too fussed. Zero point five there. in here and put in our V speeds which is fine. Okay so next just going down here to the progress page and put in the uh okay for Leipzig. So there we go. For the two hundred and eighty one nautical miles so yeah we're really up and down pretty much a bit like a yo yo there but that's fine. So let's have a look at our departure. So today we're going to go from 36 Centre. Uh, 36 Centre on the. <laughs> Which one are we looking at here? Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one right here. Should be three six left. That looks it. There we go. So we want the uh, Arnhem to Victor departure. There we go. Let's let's go ahead and clear that flight plan discontinuity there. And then we'll come down here to our uh, arrivals as well. We'll put it in now because it's only a, a short trip. And so I'll just have a look across here. And my navigraph chart. So we want arrival ILS 08 right. It's telling me that there's no stars available, which is surprising because it is according to Navigraph. Let's try to right left. I can still most of the stars available. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on there. But that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me, it just makes it a bit easier. No stars around, so we'll just go ahead there and put it in. To actually just make sure we've got uh, no flight plan discontinued there, which is good. So let's have a look at the plan quickly. So there we go. 
There's our route out. Fairly straightforward, I think, by the looks of it, which is what we want. So I'll well go ahead here and bring in the charts just so we can see them and uh, refer to them as we go. So skip all taxi charts. This is uh, <laughs> this is the fun one. So let me just um, have a look at my Navigraph screen just so we're not trawling through like you wouldn't know, like you wouldn't believe. So is it 10-9? That's the one, 10 9. Uh, Sid. Now we want is the. Dash three Lima. That's the one. And then two. Um, it's not given as the star within the aircraft, so we'll just go with out. So which one did I select? Zero eight. Zero eight right. So I'll go for the uh, zero eight right, and we'll pin that. And again for the taxi, we shall pin that one as well. It shouldn't be too bad for us today. Uh, I'll uh, taxi out of here. Of uh, Amsterdam is always a tricky one, so we've got quite a long taxi here. So it's going to be down here, out up on Brava, across Whiskey 5, and then across, and then we can uh, shoot ourselves out of 3 6 left. Okay, so looking good. So how's our cage and stuff going on? Okay, baggage is done. We can go ahead and remove the catering now as well. We'll go ahead and get rid of the jet bridge because I'm happy there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and arrange for our tug as well. So we'll pre-plan our pushback. To that and we'll go ahead and there and request pushback. So let's go ahead and get here and uh, let's get some things on. We should begin the push any second now. <coughs> and there we go. Pushback has begun.
does look good. So we've got QHR 1026 today. And skip all. Which finds it was bricks to max for the departure. And then we should be looking to get going soon. Want. And away we go. Great check. And breaks good. So the scenery I'm using today is the the Sobo built-in uh, skipper, which is, I've got to say, is quite nice. It's not quite the, the levels of like a full-on playware uh, development version, but you know, for a for sort of like a, a homebrew almost airport, I've got to say, it's, it's very nice. And then the uh, the Leipzig scenery that we're flying into is uh, some freeware scenery that I got from flightsim.to which again is, is very nice actually does the job nicely for, for me at least anyway so now we have the long unenviable task of taxiing out to our departure point which as we always know when you're flying in and out of Schiphol it takes an age get to and from the runways but it is what it is all parts of the fun I think that's what they say isn't it so yeah, one thing I'm looking forward to those coming up is the just flight Fokker 100 that'll be really nice to fly in and out of skip all with flown on that uh, UK City Hopper a few, fair few times over the years and uh, always enjoy the little trip from uh, Skiphold to Humberside, which is my local. Well, I think the all the, uh, the Fockers have been replaced now, I think, by the Embraer uh, one, this, which, which version is it? Embraer 175, possibly? Or 195? One of the two, either. Either way, it's been replaced by an Embraer, the Embraers. Uh, which, again, nice aircraft, the Embraers. Nice little jets. One thing that I do wish with the uh, with this aircraft though is I wish it was positioned more s centrally when you're in the external view. Just looks a bit odd. There wasn't much of a bridge there, was there? Let's be honest. <laughs> One thing that is good about this Leipzig scenery is it does actually have proper bridges and flyovers. So the traffic does actually flow underneath you rather than uh, what we just saw there.
think I remember once coming into Skip Holland, I think when uh, he was coming back from America maybe, and uh, the captain came on the tannoy. And we must have landed on like three six left or something like that. And you know, came on the tannoy and said, you know, hi folks, we're welcome to Skip Hall. And fortunately we now have a 30 minute taxi time to the, to the gate. <laughs> it's like, great. <laughs> it's just so big. It's such a big airport. If I was a real world pilot, I'd probably be bricking it every time I flew into Skipwall just because it's so big and so busy. Usually, as well, every time I've flown in and are out there in real life, the weather's been pants. So. Is what it is, though. We'll be taking uh, novice left, the next left on Whiskey 5, and crossing 3 6 centre. And then taking the long oh, taxiway out to 3 6 left. the taxi lines. Uh, it has to be this turning because there isn't really another turning. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's just a, a bug in the scenery unfortunately. Spoils the emotion a little bit, but I suppose that could be what it's like in real life. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Spoilers are working nicely. following it all the way down. So I'm just looking at the departure charts now, and it doesn't look like we've got any restrictions on our departure here, which is good. <coughs> God, a bit of a slope down. Crikey. Bit of a slope up. Is it real like that in real life? I don't remember it being like that. Cranky, yeah. Hey, I'm not in as well. <coughs> Excuse me. A lovely evening here in Amsterdam as well. This is supposed to be live weather. Gotta say, I'm not too far across the pond from Amsterdam, and the weather here is clear blue skies. So I wouldn't be surprised if it is like this across there. It's very nice.
I don't like it on auto, they never actually seem to go, actually work, so I always switch it to on. Okay, okay. Right. everybody is ready, let's go. See, we are accelerating pretty quick here because we are fairly light. So as V1, rotate. Positive right gear travels. going on. We should be on our way now. Let's climb thrust set. Beautiful view that. Absolutely beautiful. Hi guys, welcome back to the flight deck. We are nearly at our top of descent point now. So 113 miles to go, and our descent point is 107 miles. So we need to be going down to look at our charts uh, quickly. There we go, pin charts. Uh, the approach. We want to be going heading down to uh, about 3,000 feet uh, around about here. So you can see 3,000 feet. So that's what we're going to put ourselves, make it, put it, put it in for us to go down to. And once we hit 107 miles, we will initiate that descent. So in fact, we'll be on now. 108.5. So you know, I'm going to bite the bullet and we're going to initiate our descent profile now. It's been a glorious, glorious evening. It's fantastic. Looks really good. Nice little hop though, we've only been going 27 minutes and uh, we've already begun our descent which is great so it's not too a nice short hop for us today.
If you are up, once you return to your seat, we ask that you remain seated until the aircraft arrives safely at the gate. By the time, please prepare the cap for right. Yep, there you go. So as you can see, there's Leipzig on our display. So let's just put some information in here for our landing. So 1023 for our Q&H. Because we've begun our descent, I don't expect us to, you know, come off at any point. Well, I'll go ahead and put that in now. I'm happy to. Uh, let's just go ahead and check our landing uh, information that we've got here for the performance. So Q and H of one zero two three, which is what we've got twenty three degrees. And is three three zero seven knots. Let's just check that. Three three zero seven knots. Yep. Happy there. Uh, decision height today is three hundred feet. Full config on our arrival. And okay, it's given us a vapor of uh, one two one. Happy days. So that's it now. So we'll go, we'll go for a uh, low config. We are quite light today, so not necessarily a, a huge need for us to be use max uh, full max brakes or even medium, in my opinion. It's looking good. So let's just check our uh, nav uh, frequencies for the arrival. So one one seven five, which is what I've got for. Uh, ILS 08 right, course of 082, correct, which is great. So, yep, looking good, and we are happy there. Lovely looking view. Great stuff. So. Not too far away, really. Let's just go ahead and make sure we've got our seatbelt signs on. Uh, must make signs, must be on us always. So, uh, well, good. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the land lights on now. I'm happy to. Okay, should be okay for that. That's good. Looking good. So let's go ahead on here and put our approach page up. Don't really need to see all of it. Bit I'm interested in. Now we just begin our steady meander down. Great view. I know I say it every video, but just how far the Sims have come. It's fantastic. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. You know, I remember like back at, well, a couple of years ago, you know, and it's like the height of uh, FSX or P3D, and you're on YouTube, you know, you scroll through the videos, and there's, you know, how real does it look kind of thing and you know at the time they do look really realistic and then when you look back now and you compare it to what we've got i mean i don't have a super duper rig you know you can see from my system specs down in the in the, in the description the details page but you know it's just it, it's so impressive and what you, i think what you get for your in terms of performance sort of like the bang for your buck is a lot better than what we've been used to over the years obviously you know it's Technology's come a long way now and you can exploit things a lot better, which is what you'd expect. 
you know. So, yeah, it's overall it's, um, it's really great, really good. things are going, it'll probably be dark by the time we touch down. <coughs> the sunset's looking fantastic. So I am a little bit concerned that we might be a little bit too high for our arrival point of where we need to be at 3,000 feet for. So we might have to hold and do a loop just to burn off that altitude. We'll see how we get on. Go ahead and turn the landing system on. So yeah, looking good for us. Let's just go ahead and check everything. So we've got landing lights are on, which they are, rotor lights are on. Seat bolts and everything are switched on. Water braking set to low, which is good. We've got our landing information is inputted in terms of frequencies, which is good. Landing system is turned on. Uncle Q and H is set 1023, which is what was on our EFB. And I'm happy. Land yeah. Happy. So we should have is the airport. Leipzig should be roughly about there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. So I'm not super happy with how high we are at the moment. Feet. So we'll fly down to this next leg here and we'll loop back on ourselves and we'll just do an orbit just while we burn off some, um, some altitude here. So 
right, so we're just slightly too high. If we keep going where we are, we, we just won't hit the 3,000 feet that we need to be at. Be all right too, actually. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll continue. deploy a little bit of speed right now. Just a little bit, just to help us drop these that airspeed as we continue our descent. See the glide slopes alive there. Okay. It's starting to get nice and dark out there now, slowly. Glorious sunset. To be honest, I've never actually don't really fly that much in the uh, in the evening or at night. Even in the morning, to be honest, it's usually just full on daylight. It's quite nice. So there we go, so there we can see zero eight left, and then uh, zero eight right, which is what we shall be taking any minute now. Once that localizer comes alive. Speed down. So we can get that first stage of flap in now. Localizer is alive. Localizer captured. First stage of flap.
So it's just that's going to speed back a little bit more now once we go through 190 below the gear. Gear coming down, second stage of flaps. Glide slope is alive, so we'll catch that any moment. Let's continue to bring the speed down. Two thousand five hundred. It's looking good here. The speed's coming down nicely. These displays are very bright now. Let's just dim them down a little bit. Looking good. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Retard. Nice. Welcome to Leipzig. Looking very nice as always. Just 
turn this next turn here on the left, Hotel 7. So flaps can come up now. That can come on, off. Strobes can come off as well. APU, go ahead and start that up. And now we should begin our taxi back to our taxi to the terminal. Which is thankfully Leipzig is not a huge airport. So it should just be down here. Down here and to the right a little bit. She's good. Here we are at the terminal area. So I think we can see some vehicles down there. So I think that might be the gate that I'm, I've been assigned. I think. Hmm, not sure what these floating lights are. Like all I've flown in here before, I've flown in, flown in here during the day, so not one hundred percent sure. It's not one two eight. So let's go ahead and turn the uh, taxi light off there, so we don't blind the marshal. It's a shame. Oh, there we go. There's the ones. You can see them both now. Oh, and then one disappears. Sounds like a bug. Oh, it looks like a bug to me, that. That's good enough for me. Brakes on. And there we go. Views are live. I can shut down now and go ahead and request the jetway and package. Yeah, thank you for joining me this evening. Hope you enjoyed this little trip into Leipzig. It's a nice, very nice little trip. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel if you get us on that. Until next time, I'll see you later.